Hey everybody, just a quick message from Bob and Bonkers Network. We would like to remind everybody that certain topics of discussion may not be comfortable for all listeners. Certain viewpoints may not reflect those of our partners, sponsors, affiliates, our hosts, or that of our guests. We would like to encourage everybody to keep a respectful and open climate of discussion for all topics, no matter how disturbing they may be. So viewer discretion is advised. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new year and the world is getting crazier than ever before. And there's only two idiots who know best to bring it to you. Join Christopher Mole and Dakota Francis every week on the Bald and Bonkers Show. You never know what's going to happen. Aside from the little gap there, what did you think? I thought that was rather good. There was the little gap there. That was that was really good. It's uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta blend that. Yes, I missed this. Yes, yeah, see, happy see, new year. We've, we've been away. Happy new year, everybody. I mean, what have you been doing? What have we all been doing since we taking a little break? I, I, the restructuring of Bald and Bunker. Mm-hmm. Has been a restructuring and bald and bonkers. We've, you know, been trying to go out into the world, make our connections. Pissed a few people off in the process, but you know, it's the 2020s. You can't, you can't do breathe without doing that nowadays. Oh yeah, I mean, you can't do anything nowadays. I dread waking up in the morning to even look at my phone. I wait for the messenger. I've only got 16 messages. What could they possibly be? Slowly yeah, get through them. Yeah, know? again, I've made I this, I made this. I made this reference quite a few times, but I don't think I've done it on the official program since. When in the fuck did you, you become my secretary? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they don't like contacting you. Maybe they think you know. I want to talk to that handsome Scottish guy named Christopher. You know, I mean, maybe there's some lonely ladies out there. You know, he's single, by the way. So am I, but. He's younger, and he needs uh, a good woman. Someone that's going to bake for him every day, okay. do stuff First for him, up. go dancing. Do you still go to dancing? Because I'm 41 now, and you're, you're kind of oh, okay, younger, okay. aren't you? Do you still go to discos and stuff like that? Aye? There's there's not even a dancing place near me without planning a weekend out of town. See? See? See, that's, that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. You know, but... Hopefully this new year has got many things planned for bald and bonkers, you know? Oh, my God. Have you not... I mean, we go to take a little bit of a break, and look how crazy the world already is. We've mentioned that 2023 was already going to be even crazier than before. We're only a week into the new year. A fucking week. And look at everything that's going down. I know. The UFO, the, the UFOs are out of control. Russia says it's shut down a UFO. There's UFO sightings all across the United States. There's all UFO sightings across the world. Society's breaking down. There's a civil war breaking out in Mexico. Have you seen that with the cartels? I mean, it's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's that's been boiling over for some time. But, I mean, like I no. said, and that's the thing. You hear stories of militaries shooting down UFOs all the time, but here's the thing. Russia actually has provided video of the craft yes. going down. Now, they're saying it's only the size of a tennis ball, so likely some kind of drone. And if you actually watch the video, mm. you see it, some bright ball of light just flying about, then all of a sudden it gets hit by something. And you know, yeah. there's some people all that said, oh, that's fake. You know, there would have been an explosion. No, no, no. Clearly, you never heard of direct energy weapons. Yeah. Well, basically, I mean, all they have to do is just shoot at a laser. <clears throat> they have this for missile defense systems. They just shoot a laser that you would not see with the human eye, and they would melt the inside of the missile, completely taking out the part that would actually blow up to where you have nothing more than a 20-ton <clears throat> rock. I- 
it's, Which it's could still do just, some damage, I bet. It, it's not just that, man. I mean, the UFO sightings in the United States are ridiculous. And did you did you see that UFO sighting above? And yes, I'm about to see it for the Galactic Command. You know, what was it? Was it Ashtar? You know, he's into this. Can he? Can he? Put, am I pronouncing his name right? That was the, okay. the head of the Galactic okay. Command. Here? Oh God, there's so so much crazy. He was about above. He was. I. He, he was above. What was it? The the spaceship was above the men's club in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's okay. First I, off, Federation <laughs> battleships are way too big to just be floating over Vegas without that must have been his some private sort of problems. That's probably the private number yacht. two. Ashtar is not a fucking name; it's a military title. It's fine. I mix these things up deliberately with the time just to annoy him, guys. You know. But you gotta be careful when you're purposely mixing shit up, because people are too stupid to actually look into I, shit. Did you see that? Right? Did you know what? Yeah, some, I've been some, seeing. Did you came yeah, it, uh, How cold does it get in Las Vegas at that time of year? Okay, normally, because <clears throat> I do have relatives down in Vegas. Right. Okay, mind you. They complain that they are freezing their asses off when it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. Would well, you know what the excuse was? Do you know what the excuse was for this strange orange and purple and strange shaped lights in the sky? There was too much snow in the lights and on top of the balcony. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You do have to realize certain areas of Nevada are getting heavy, heavy fucking snow right now. The, the I mean, you heard about the actor <laughs> who played Hawkeye getting ran over by a snowplow, right? I seen that. I seen that. Yeah, okay. I mean, Nevada is getting a shit. Roll it away? Oh, <laughs> not he completely got crushed. It, it's on us. I mean, you know, respect to you know Jeremy Renner's family and friends, but. God, he, he's not going to be doing those moves. They think, for so quite that's some the time. thing. Do you not find that strange that that accident? Because these things move extremely slow. I mean, it's like getting run over by a steamroller. They're honestly not 100% sure how the hell it happened. Mm. See? But they don't suspect foul play. <laughs> I mean, if you see something coming towards you like that oh, really slow and you're like, that's yeah, for another half hour. He I was it's trying to over. stop it. <laughs> Do you stop? Do you know that? Yeah. No, he, no. He thought he saw somebody driving the thing, but it doesn't even sound like somebody was even driving. He was trying mm -hmm. to stop it because he mm -hmm. was trying to pull a family member out. I think. I think he's maybe had some medicinals before the before the period happened. You know. Well, well, dispensary. <laughs> there was a shit ton of fuss over dispensary that opened up right at the Idaho Nevada border just because everybody up here likes to go down to jackpot <laughs> to well, party so Dakota what have you been doing what have you been doing with the, oh! uh, the documentary and I hear you're, you're, the movie there's a movie out now or something uh, to do uh, with oh, yes, you I had yeah. to bring that up I had to bring uh, well, well, yeah, I was gonna play the trailer because I gotta help. I gotta help promote it. Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll. So, a couple things. It's like I know there's there's a lot of people. I had to bring it up when I started doing the Ball of Democracy news updates because there's a lot of people that tried to focus on the drama, saying, "Oh, they just want a part in your documentary." Oh, it's like first off, none of y'all are gonna get it if you don't knock your shit off. Number one. Because number two, yes. it's going to be open to anybody who wants to contribute once funds come in. And I have applied for yes. a couple film grants, but I don't hear anything about them. This part is out of my control. I don't hear anything whether or not I get them until March. But and that's a, <laughs> what? And that's a thing I would like to say. I would like to see with the drama side of stuff. Just let it go, guys. It destroys your life, drama. Oh, Just there's there's, there's a couple thing, uh, th things that came up that I cannot help but find hilarious. But anyway, well, I will say this after we reveal that I have a new movie out. <laughs> mm. Yes. So, so, not a lot of people realize this, but part of the reason why I kind of get fed up when there's a lot of people trying to message me out of the blue or 
try to get a hold of me because something's going on and I can't directly answer them because I'm working mm-hmm. is that I kind of bounce all over the place. You know, it's my doing. It's a life I've set up for myself. Yeah. I enjoy it, but there's times where too much stupid shit comes up. It's like, you know what? I'm going to go play where I have fun. This past week, I actually had a new movie that finally is getting released. It's called Cryptid. It just came out. Mm. It's a horror movie based in Maine. There's this unknown creature that is killing a bunch of people. You know what? How about we just go ahead and play the trailer? I just play the trailer. It looks like we may have an animal attack on our hands. I'm Maxim. This is Harry. From the Trent Record, we have wanted to ask him some questions. I've tried everything I can think of. Feeding patterns, migration courses, changes in temperature, time of year, different breeds of species. I I can't find anything. That's it. Traps are stuck. It's got to be some kind of pattern. It's got to be. We need another entry point. Are you so hard up for a story now that you will believe anything that comes through? We've been cornering it, forcing it out into the open to get bolder out of fear of extinction. Wait here for a second. That looks really interesting. That movie, by the way, mm-hmm. I, I, and one of the, I see one of the there's a couple of actors there that I recognise that you see in the movies you get. No, okay, I, there's a couple of actors there that I recognise. Mm-hmm. That's that looks actually quite a good movie. That yep, it's it really available does. now for for anybody who's <laughs> on the audio side of this show. It's available on Redbox. Uh, Microsoft, so you can play it, get it through your Xbox. It's available Amazon Prime, iTunes, as well as some video on demand through like Direct TV. And don't worry for our partners who we also share these episodes out. Yeah. We have full permission to play that. I can't help it mm-hmm. if Facebook decides to be an asshole. Oh, Facebook has an asshole. <laughs> Facebook's terrible. <laughs> I mean, Facebook's the biggest asshole out there. I mean, it's the only. I mean, honestly, Facebook. If you're watching this right now, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you, I've got, I've, I've got a pet hate about Facebook, right? I only get in there to check my friends and stuff now and again, and I'll go to the watch section, and you'll be able to watch all sorts of terribleness and you'll be able to behead ISIS videos and horrible videos and. You put a smiley face above somebody's comment and it gets classed as hate speech. Or and three stuff. alien heads. Three alien heads, yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, like, you like, kind of go into that. I mean, let's see everything that Elon has revealed with Twitter, all the shit that's coming out from Facebook insiders, TikTok, everything that's just coming out in general lately. With you know Illuminati conspiracy celebrities saying oh, they've yes. come out and completely escaped, and there is you know sabotage efforts to make them look bad. Kanye West is missing. What conspiracy isn't true these days? I mean, it's not just that the Pope died. The well, no, the one that's in power of the now, but the one before him has actually died the other day, and that's. A lot, of, a lot of the religious people said the end times is coming because he dies. But let's face it, what age was he, 99 or something like that? Okay. Okay. I mean, oh, but... you, you got to realize, with the Catholics, everything is the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, and when, you got know, people saying, Dakota, that's people, offensive. Yeah. Have you actually dealt with some of these people? No. Oh. Well, well, you... I, I don't know what to say to that one, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Has, because, yeah. all right, I'm just going to say this. There's, there's a gal we had on the show a while back. She went yeah. by the name of Damocles. We kind of ex- we oh, ended right, up revealing right, right. her real name. 
she has a website called Soto Voce Vault. She hasn't really been working on that since she's had to do a big cross country move, you know, for personal reasons. Yeah. Yeah. She makes a very valid point when it comes to her research is that perhaps the reason why the 2020s in particular are so damn crazy is because we are in the apocalypse. Oh, we're definitely in the apocalypse. We're definitely, I would say, in a, a moment in history where it could go, we've got two choices. We could let it go to civilization crumbling to war, to nuclear warfare, or we could try and save it. And that, honestly, that is the truth. And you talk, we talk about all these UFOs. What was if all these UFOs are turning up just to watch the fireworks? Yeah, they do say that some of the UC UFOs are actually us from the future trying to figure out what the hell happened. Yeah. I it's mean... Like, I, no, where you go? No, I was just going to say, our dear friend Elena Denon, she also pointed out, and she's been sticking to her guns pretty good, and if you've actually followed her, a lot of the predictions she's made have actually come true, so... yes. Not only is she fully certified with her b background, but she she's good at what she does. And no, we're not trying to, you know, name drop or anything. But I would I, I believe her one hundred percent. I watch her videos. She's brought a new one out. Of the, is it the Blue Ridge Mountains? I've not had the what, chance to watch it she, tonight. Well, she's been traveling, and I believe she's actually back in France for a bit right now. But she talked about how. Her contact with the Galactic Federation, Thorhan Iridian, was actually in Virginia, meeting up with some in some bases down there to discuss global disclosure. And according to her latest book, The Cedars Return of the Gods, 2024 is supposed to be when the humanoid, the human, most human looking aliens. Are going to start revealing themselves. Yeah. But they're among us right now. That's the thing that they're among us right now. And people will be sitting there listening to this and thinking, well, these two guys are after heads. But guys, look into it. There's, what was that you were telling me about the Harvard? Was it a Harvard professor going on about mm -hmm. the ships? Mm -hmm. What was that? There's, a, there's actually. Okay. If you first up, before you go too far into that, yeah. there's a Harvard professor who had who's really big into astrophysics, he, he, well-respected, tenured, which basically means he's got full credentials, well-respected within Harvard, who fully admits, basically he's one of the ones who's on the main bad wagon that Oumuamua, the asteroid that flew by Earth well, a few years ago, yeah, he's one of the main ones on the bandwagon mm -hmm. that Muamua may have actually been some kind of cloak spaceship. Elena Denon says, yeah. proposes that as well, just because it's so weird. Yeah, well, now, course, the main thing, now, the main thing, that, now there, there's a thought process here. Ever since Muamua showed up, they've been trying to find more like it. Mm -hmm. So they fully believe that there was at least four different asteroids that came closer to flybys on Earth that could fall under the same category. They're trying to plan a probe mission to fly to a Muamua, start finding out what the hell it was. Because the whole long cigar shape to it, that just yeah. that's just odd. It's not... I mean, technically with physics, I'm just going to throw this as an example, it's technically possible to find a planet the shape of a donut. I, I so mean... weird shapes are not... It's not impossible... Based on what we know. But the thing but about yeah. that Amua Mua is that it actually slowed down and then it sped up. I mean, come on. Yeah, it changed the directory. Yeah. I mean, I was, it, 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 why did it though? I mean, do you know, I find that a bit mysterious. Was it coming into your solar system thinking that there was maybe life here, but didn't know what the life was that was here? And then it's flew out. Or was it a different type of intelligent life, right? We're talking about the the Galactic Federation and stuff like that, right? Say they say they are protecting this Earth, right, and they're protecting this system. Say it come in, say it come into our it come into our space, right? And then whoever was in it or whatever automated 
device that was steering that detected them, the other good aliens, and it thought, uh-oh, oh, we have to stay away from them. And it turned around and didn't, it just flew away. Do you not Obviously, find that strange? How the, <clears throat> there's so much about it that's strange, man. I mean, think about it. There's points where, say, like the International Space Station, which is another bag of worms right now oh, yeah. as it is, there's points where it feeds from the International Space Station, yes. feeds from SpaceX, yes. where all of a sudden you see something fly in, dock yes. at the spacecraft, then all of a sudden the feed cuts out. Now, the, what I mean by the space station is that there's a situation right now where there's a major coolant leak. The ship is very unsafe right now, but they don't exactly have a way to get everybody that's up there back home. So it's a Hollywood movie waiting to play out right as we speak. Do you know what I find very mysterious about the ISS camera? See, see before they used to just cut the transmission. See, now I watch it quite a lot. And last it was two days ago I was watching it and I was watching the sunrise over the earth. And do you know what they do now? They don't cut the stream. They just put a, like a square black thing up to like hide something. Have you noticed that? All right. There's a couple different things that have been tossed my way. <clears throat> One, they got to hold better editing technology that allows them to do stuff like that. I mean, hell, we can technically get it for when we do shows like this. Yeah. But at the same time, they say like the Verlon broadcast back in South London back in the what was it, like the 70s, yes. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All of these different <clears throat> major encounter incidents even inspiring more creative types to create shows like Star Wars, Star Trek. Yes. <clears throat> the whole idea behind it is to slowly groom human civilization to accept the idea that we are not alone in the universe. I mean, what was that movie? Uh, it was Simon Pegg and that fat dude he's in all other movies with. Uh, Paul, wasn't it? Where they found like a little gray alien. Oh, they I, they I, directly I, said that I've in the movie, the dead, they right? slowly drip feed the image of the alien so people don't have a fucking spaz attack if the civilizations meet. But here's here's the thing, right? You see that that uh, that that transmission in 1970, right? That was using terrestrial TV, right? And you see with the amount of satellites that's up there right now. Well, you've got SpaceX, you've got all these mm -hmm. kind of satellites that's on the planet, right? Do you know think it'd be a lot easier? For our alien little friends up there, and this is just a message if you're listening to this, to hack into them and just completely take over the global system and transmit something. They could. Why not do it? I mean, here's the thing. Well, what a lot of people don't realize, the hack that took place in 1970, if someone was knowledgeable enough, it would not take much. You got to remember, nowadays computers were the size of a small van. But still, it would not take much. <sighs> Even for what was available back then, it would not take much if someone was knowledgeable enough. If they knew where to hit, they have a rough idea of where the signal came in, but they still have no clue how it got there. I mean, there's been several times where there's been TV hijackings. <clears throat> to this day, nobody's claimed responsibility. They they aren't not aren't even hundred percent sure how the hell they did it, but it happened. See, all it, all it, ten, all it would have taken in the nineteen seventies for a UFO to sit above a transmitter. Mm -hmm. Think about it, but it's clock on, right? I mean, but nowadays on the earth, everything so everything is. Let's face it, we use smartphones everywhere. We use laptops, we use smartphones, iPads tablets we use everything can you imagine what would happen if they did the same exact same thing again right but our everything can you imagine that nobody would be able to cover that up you couldn't cover that up because there'd be no excuse for that how how do you know oh, okay here's a counter argument for that how do you know that People, conspiracy theorists pushing the line that the final card of the New World Order takeover being a faked alien invasion 
Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, the Nazi that started this fucking shit laughs like the fucking Joker whenever he brought it up. Yeah. How do we know that they're not still trying to push that line? So that way they kill can't still. Di- so you're saying all these directive. all these mysterious lights above the United States that now could be Project Bluebeam. That's, I'm not, no, that's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. Don't put the words in my mouth. We have too much of that in this crap. Right. So what are you what saying I'm then? Saying, what I'm saying is Von that Braun. That's who you're talking about. We're talking about the Nazi we, Von Braun. Okay. Yeah. yeah we're, we're in a Von Braun, major yeah. dude within NASA that helped us get to the fucking moon. Right. It had, you have to realize, ladies and gentlemen, just look at the fucking drama, how easy it is to manipulate information. They can still control the narrative by pushing that narrative out there. Even if you don't necessarily believe it, it's still going to be sitting in there. And the second you start seeing all this crap going on, you start seeing shit happening, you're going to be like, wait the fuck a minute, was that crazy dude, right? (laughs) Well, look look what they've said. There's been conspiracy theories in the past that have said things that's came true right now. I mean, let's 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 talk about chemtrailing, right? Let's talk about chemtrailing. Ten years ago, oh, oh, you're you're a conspiracy theorist. There's no such thing as chemtrailing. They don't spray the atmosphere with with chemicals and that. We don't put aluminum in the atmosphere and stuff like that. It's come out. Top government officials have come out and says, yes, we've been spraying aluminum foil and other chemicals into the the, the atmosphere for the last 15, 16 years. They've had to admit it because the Chinese admitted to doing it to make sure the weather was nice for the Beijing Olympics. Yes. Yes. And knew the conspiracy theories that made that up, then they make it up because they were made to think that they made it up. I mean, look at how actually... much about Bob what Bob Lazar was saying came true. Yeah. I mean, that's somebody we need to reach out to. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're not gonna get him. He's tap sticker. No, he actually runs an energy company out of Oregon. I've been looking. <laughs> now all of a sudden, there's going to be black SUVs outside my house. <laughs> well, if you're watching this NSA or CIA, the court is closer than you to kidnap first. And there's a number of Air Force bases near me, and something. Yeah. I will. I, I will. Okay, the black SUV thing is not a joke. There's actually been increase to that in my area lately. You ever wondered why they they're, use black they're SUVs? looking for something? Why they're they looking use, for something? You ever wondered that? Or why do they use all black USVs and don't say because you get that harder to see? Well, actually, they stick out like a sore thumb with a black SUV with black tinted out windows. Why do they all use black vehicles? Is it they get a deal with GM or something like that just to produce black There's vehicles? Usually, there is <clears> contract <throat> deals and stuff like that, but usually. Okay, the only reason I know about this is because there's a certain police department, and I have family members who are local law enforcement, so this is not, like, top-secret information. Technically, I'm not supposed to know this, but there's certain police departments around here who damage their vehicles so goddamn much, they'll practically just pick any random thing they can get their hands on and take it to their mechanics. There's special contract deals in order to give agencies like that the stuff that they need to do their job. No. Well, if Dakota gets kidnapped tonight by the CIA or Men in Black, I'll be looking for a new co-host. Uh, please contact me through the Bald and Bonkers links. Uh- <laughs> well, don't do that. You, you don't have access to the main website. I know. Shit. I don't have access. So how am I going to get that? I don't find, just message me personally through Facebook. Well, that's what people are already doing. You know, they want to know how they, you can get involved in bonkership. But they're not actually asking the person that all it's the like, fucking I, paperwork I, is under. I find that I find that comical. <laughs> I find that comical. Excuse me, can you put me in touch with Dakota? And I was there, uh, no problem. And then they come back to me and they're like, ask me questions. They're like, why don't you go to Dakota? And they're like, oh, but I like talking to you better. You know, I could be your secretary. I could get a wag, nice long hair, you know, say a fake chest, you know. Hello. Well, first of all, I'm having to change the complete format of how we do the shows because you sucked at getting me the information about guests. Anyway, what about any special guests? Do we have any special guests lined up? Uh, right now, nothing's locked in. Nothing's however, locked in. however, for those of you who are interested, and you don't necessarily have to be paranormal-related, 
We're going to try yeah. to open things up because Bald and Bonkers, we actually have a number of new services. We, you know, logo design, okay. trailer design, video um, intros, stuff like that. We can help you get your book or music published. But if you would like to actually be a guest on our show, we have a nice yeah. little form set up. I know this one has come to me saying, but people don't like form forms. So like, but some people don't like form. You know, I know forms can be a pain in the neck. I mean, it's getting to be tax time, so my eyes are going to be going across to learning how to put in the business financials and all that stuff. But if you would like to be a guest on our show, this is the link. We have a new form set up. You can pick a time that works for you. You can fill out your information, and we'll get in touch with you. And I've got something else here. We're not live on YouTube tonight. Why don't you explain that? Because people uh, will be wondering. Because I've got to ask uh, you, you know that. I know. And you know what? Let them suffer. Um, <laughs> well, I got to thinking about it with this whole restructuring that we did during the holiday break. Well, well I did. Don't you think it, it was kind of weird to have us film an episode, then have that exact same episode come out on podcast form a week later when people have already seen it? Yeah. Likely. So here's my thought process. We've actually set up a Patreon page. It's $5 a month. If you would like to attend live shows with Bald and Bonkers, five dollars a month you can get behind the scenes access i'm gonna be looking into getting some new stuff added very soon i'm getting the link right now that's why there's the uncomfortable pauses mm -hmm. join us for a live show you can get updates on new guests before anybody else basically there's things we want to do and we need funds to help make it happen so yes you might start seeing advertising a bit but you know that's just part of running the company yeah, yeah, and plus we have to save our money for Dakota because sadly he has to get his hair transplant. Dad, how much is that costing you, curiosity? Says the guy who managed to reach a thousand subscribers on his Ghost Squad Scotland using OnlyFans. Well, look, look, I can't help it if there's look beautiful women out there that that find me attractive and think. God, beautiful women. The, the shit that comes out, you, 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 Wait, you and Al, they, they, Alan they, they, drooling they, they, over no. your biscuits, and you saying, no, "Oh, no, do no, this for me." I, I have, have, I had the voice messages to prove all this dirty shit, I will Christopher. Say this. I will say this. I will say that Alan is a greedy bugger. He stole my Tunnock's tea cake with her, and I hope you watch this, Alan. I hope you watch this. Disgraceful, you know, but yeah. You know he's going to get me back for this next week when he sees this because this will be actually later next week because this is not the new, you know. So we'll fill him in next week before that week, that kind of thing, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I, it's, I think you'd look lovely in a wig. Okay, for I I, my head gets way too hot. And for those of you interested in seeing Chris's OnlyFans, that's the link. What is this? Did you make me an OnlyFans? <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, you've made me that G spot t shirt, haven't you? Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, uh, okay. The poor execution. I was trying to sneak in yeah, a bit to talk. Of, uh, I was gonna talk, try to sneak in a bit about doing, you know, you know, this whole drama. How easy it is to get people riled up because, quite frankly, yeah. there's people that just want to stir up trouble. I mean, there's. People that tried sending me hate messages because of the latest bit. But you know what? There's a gentleman on there that also popped up. But he goes by the name of Meeps Music. And I just want to give this guy a shout out because he made a very valid point. What we do here is not an exact science. It attracts people of all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of personalities. And you're going to have some people who just butt heads just because the personalities don't mix. Oh, it happens. Right. It's nothing to get stressed over and constantly trying to find something wrong with it, trying to egg something on because both sides of the problem are doing it. Well, I've got two piece of advice. Stop the drama. Just go a different way. Ignore it. Yeah, I'm also going to say this. 
I've always said that when it came to the supernatural, all, it's a school of thought that I always Man. try to stick with is one that was made popular by uh, the Carl Sagan is that, you know, extraordinary claims requires extraordinary evidence. Dr. Yes. Michael Sala, who happens to be a good friend uh, and mentor to Elena Dinan, puts forward another version of that in one of his books that I've been reading lately, where he says, extraordinary claims require extraordinary investigation, basically saying you're not always going to be able to get the evidence you need to back what you say, just because of whatever the situation may be, where either it's just difficult to get that evidence or getting said evidence could actually cause could actually get you seriously hurt yeah basically no matter what people say find out the whole story before you start firing off you're doing no good you may yeah. think that you're trying to be supportive of your friend but you may actually be enabling stuff did you know there's this news article that popped up it was from 1908 Ooh, uh, about a go. dog about a dog labeled to be a false hero Really? Yeah. So the story is with this dog is that there was a certain stretch of river, I believe it was out of New York, where mm -hmm. a kid fell in, dog died in and saved it. As someone who happened to be nearby rewarded the dog with a piece of meat. All right. Well, this dog got an idea, apparently. <laughs> and they started to notice that, gee. An awful lot of kids are falling into the same stretch of water, being saved by the same exact dog. As it fucking turns out, the dog was throwing the kids in the water, <laughs> saving them so he could get more meat. Look, you're going to get it everywhere. I will say this, you do get a lot of jealousy on YouTube and on a lot of places. I mean... Wow, I've experienced it. I've experienced it, and it's I just avoid folk now. See, and it's that's why I'm going to put this out there. I don't accept many friends' requests on my Facebook. I've got people that I know and I talk to, and if you send me friends' requests, guys, don't take it in offense that I don't take your friends' request. You can join my Ghost Squad Scotland, um, would you call it, Facebook page. You can join the Bald and Bonkers Facebook page. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. but I, if you send me a French request, I'm not going to accept it because I don't know who you are. Yeah, you know I mean, and I've been having, I've been getting a lot of messages lately. I've been getting, you're friends with such and such person. Can you introduce me? <laughs> it just, it just, it just shows you. It just shows you. How do they know that I'm friends with these people? Is it because they've seen me on the show? Is it because they're going through my? They look me up and then they go into my profile and they see who's all my friends. I, I, I don't, I don't get it either, Chris. There's people that add me and I'm just like, who the hell are you? I know. I know. And I, I'm just like, there's certain things, you know, in my private life that I don't share. It's not my yeah. business to share. And for those of you who are getting mad at me about not responding to certain shit or kind of seemingly brushing you off, yeah. I work nights at my day yeah. job and on top of maintaining bald and bonkers. I'm a busy guy. I got shit to do. And I can't yeah. deal with some drama that's going on all the way over in the UK and all over in your fucking <laughs> Texas. <laughs> I just as a couple examples or find out somebody in Australia is saying something about somebody I, in Canada. I, I got shit in my it, own backyard to deal with. I, look, 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 it's like I'm these, I, I'll admit, I've got maybe three or four famous people I'm friendly with in Facebook, right? And I'm not going to become their pimp, right? Because that's what it feels like. See when somebody, see when somebody messages me and says, hello. I am such and such. I'll be your friend. Can you introduce me to that such and such person? I'm like, what? Who are you? Go away, block. And then they'll come back again by a different name. Over and over again. Do you not find it funny? You, it, it's quite, I, came out I mean, I, ridiculous. You remember, you remember that trailer, that second concept that, uh, trailer I made for the documentary? Mm -hmm. 
there was a number of people hitting me up on my personal pages. Now, granted, uh, you know, I have Snapchat, <laughs> Facebook, all that. There was a number of people are tried adding me on my personal pages, tried calling me on my personal cell phone number because they wanted a part in the movie. I admire your drive, but that is the quickest way to get yourself blacklisted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've I, I will say this in the in the last week I have blocked about twenty to thirty people on Facebook. Because they wanted me to message certain people, and I'm like, no. And the, and some of them have asked says to me, says, "Oh, I've tried messaging them, but they've blocked me." I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> it's madness. It Boundaries, really people. I know. Be okay. I'm gonna say this. this is something that I've said numerous times, ladies and gentlemen. Just because you can't handle being a decent person in your personal relationships doesn't mean that celebrities are going to deal with you either. The more parents lie, the better DNA, DNA tests become. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Well, first off, the more you lie, the more we have to step up our game on calling you out on your bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And chances are, if we can get away with not dealing with you... There's a point where we got to respect our own mental health, our own self-esteem, our own self-image, the images of that of our companies. And I know there's going to be some faceless idiot that's going to say, oh, you shouldn't say stuff like that. Oh, you shouldn't say stuff about this person. Shut the fuck up. If you can't show your face when you're trying to steal, stir ship online, you're a fucking coward and you probably should go off to whatever hole you crawl it out of. Yeah. Number oh, And I think we just answered why people don't like talking to me. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I made the quote secretary. If you want to contact us, uh, please contact me at uh, the North Pole. Um, uh, if you want to see me there, I'll I'll, I'll be at the North Pole. You know, do you, I, I do find it funny. And guys, there's one. I see there's one person watching this, and I see I do find it ridiculous. I must admit, I, I admire the people that send me friends requests because I'll be like, I'm sorry, I can't take your friends request block. And then about maybe five minutes later, another friend's request will appear with a different name but the same profile picture. Right? So I'm sorry, I can't take the picture, so I'll block it. Ten minutes goes past, twenty minutes goes past, uh, another profile and <laughs> with the same profile picture. And you're like <sighs> All right, you know, I'm just gonna say this. If you feel like you need my help with something please do reach out and I'll do, yeah. do what I can to help you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to fire off and be it's a complete asshole. Yeah, I I know I can be an asshole. Trust me. Yeah. Ask people who know <laughs> ask people who actually known me in person get, you know, because actually talking in real life. I used to be a hell of a lot worse. Hey. He's, he's, he's I'll be honest, there, there, there's been points where I've fired off so bad, either it, it probably would have been safer to either get police involved or just shoot me, because I was that much of a raging asshole. Yeah. I'm not proud of it, but you know, I saw help. I still have things I pro go through, but I'm also not going to be taking bullshit. No. I want to get some work done, and I'm not going to sit back exactly. for anybody's drama, and if you expect me to come chase you down because you're, something's going on, you expect me to you know, go come back into your hands and knees, I got people who actually need my help, and I'm not going to waste my time on this so-called community who can't act like reasonable fucking adults and call themselves I... investigators when they can't even bother to get every side of the fucking story. I'm going to say that, right? <sighs> I'm going to say this. If you want to talk to Dakota about Bald and Bonkers or you want to come on the show, don't message me. You message Dakota. You go through the main website and you message him that way. Right? Because all it's going to happen is, is I'm just going to get... Look, there was somebody friended me the other day, a, a lot of man. It's somebody that talks in the chat sometimes. And they started bombarding me with questions about people, about certain people that I know, and I'm like, oh, block. And I blocked them. That's what's going to happen. If you think that you can come 
and be friends with me just so you can get to like certain celebrities in the paranormal world, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm just going to. I only friend people I, I know and meet, and that's the thing about Facebook. I only friend the people I know and meet. And I'm going to say this. You have to realize, and a couple of the more high-profile guests have actually come forward saying this, is that the networks that they've worked with have asked them to falsify it. And the reason why you don't see them on the air all that much is because they said no. No. It, Barry Fitzgerald, Dave Schrader, they, they met... They've mentioned it in person that they want networks wanted to falsify the information. You also got to realize those people are maybe some of the safest because they have to go through company background checks because there is a number of shady people in yeah. the paranormal community who are flat out abusers, child molesters, animal abusers. And aye, I mean, yeah, aye, there is a <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that. I'm not even getting into this because this starts the drama stuff off and that and stay away from the drama, guys. It's the best bit of advice I could ever give you. Stay away from the drama. Somebody starts the drama, walk away from the drama, ignore the drama. And that's what I'm going to say is just ignore it and I'm, walk I'm, away I'm from just, it because it ruins your life. It does. It does. And, you know, quite frankly, I'm just going to say this. There's only a select group of people that actually look good bald. And ironically, if you look up bald and bonkers and see the IMDb. What's that all about, by the way? I'm your bloody <laughs> co-host. Bald and bloody, but I, I've got a word. If Dave, Dave Schrader, if you're watching this right now, Dave, how got you bald and bonkers cast? Bald and bloody bonkers cast. Why am I not here? And you're the Dave Schrader. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, how is this possible? I'm gonna okay. There's a rating system with IMDb for I mean, those of you who may just be joining. I mean, I know I'm, I'm, go, I'm going to explain to this because before we went on, you you already kind of explained why this is the case. So for those who are on the audio version of this podcast, if us kind of venting, saying you know what, fuck off, where we want to work. Bald and Bonkers, we list our episodes on IMDb as a bit of our marketing strategy because apparently with all these streaming platforms like Discovery Plus, Disney Plus, all of them, IMDb actually opened up their criteria for what kind of content they accept for listings. Yeah. So in order to help with marketing Bald and Bonkers, I managed to get the show on there. And if you, this is actually through Microsoft Bing. If you actually look up Bald and Bonkers, it brings up IMDb as one of the first ones. And it says, as uh, the top five build cast members is okay. myself, Brian John Laverty from Parapost, Craig Campbell Basso, Barry Fitzgerald, <laughs> and Dave Schrader. Mr. Christopher Mole. Ranks eleven, even though he's I, my fucking co-host and was I has actually been on more episodes than I have. I know that's terrible. That is terrible. I bet I, I must admit you you have got Dave Schrader there, and he has one of the top paranormal people in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind being right next to him, but obviously, I'm no. I'm going to have to wait a wee while before that happens. You're going to have to get into yeah. other movies. I'm no. I'm, I'll have to message you, Dave, if you're watching this, listening to this back, Dave. I'm going to have to try and get in. I'll have to warm my way in somehow. You know, I'll just annoy. You. I'll just send you hundreds of messages. He <laughs> 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 doesn't like it. Much of messages. I can't wait. He's like, oh god. But, uh, I, yeah, honestly, no. We had to. We had to trick him on Twitter in order in order to actually get him on the show for the first he time. He's busy. He is awfully busy. I was talking to him the other night. He's awfully busy. He's no got. He's he, he's got his YouTube channel today. He's days his holiday things that he does. Ken, how he goes abroad with that God. Mm -hmm. yeah, he does got, his own little tours, yeah. Aye, and then he's got then he's got his TV stuff today, right? I mean, the guy's worked off his feet. He has. He's worked off his feet, and I don't blame him if he can't make it into shows and stuff like that because he's worked off his feet. But what? what it's that's life, isn't it? Busyness, mm -hmm. busy, 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 bumblebee, busy. I mean, imagine I mean, we've been on there. That's terrible. Yeah, I'm just not just gonna say. <laughs> no, you're on there. I put you on there, and I'm trying to figure out how to get your picture on there. You know, 
I deleted that account. Does that mean it popped up one day saying that I accidentally maybe deleted my account? Your IMDb? No, yeah. You, you had to have a pro subscription in order to be able to edit oh, people's pages no, like that. I'm Scottish. I'm tight past it. So like, yeah, you have to have a pro subscription in order to get your picture on there. Or if you don't have an agent yourself, that helps cover that stuff. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I need an agent. The same dude there might have been my agent. Then you go to court. You could be my agent. Oh, oh, could, well, sure, sure. But you, you, you do realize how much an agent actually takes of what you earn, right? One percent. Nope. Two percent. Thirty. What? Min. Minimum. So you're telling me you're telling me like Zach Bagans and Dave Schrader and all that that do these TV shows and stuff like that I have to give thirty percent to their just yeah. to their agents. There's the fees for their publicists. There's their fees for their whole team. <laughs> Out of a paycheck, about seventy to eighty percent it goes to the talents team. They only get like twenty percent of their checks, so if you think you that's, you get screwed on taxes, <laughs> that's actually quite bad. Because these this shows you that's why the right that's why they've got all these side gigs going there, not. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's no better marketing than showbiz. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, but what's what are we doing tomorrow night, Dakota? What Sunday well, night? Tonight, our basic idea was to, you know, just kind of come on, vent, talk, you know, BS a bit, because, you know, first our episode back, and everybody's still kind of kind of coming off the holidays, so booking somebody this close. But tomorrow, I think we should probably go a bit more in depth to what's going on with all these UFO sightings. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Because there's a I lot of new information. So. We should Actually, talk about it. We should show some videos. We should maybe show some videos. You know, if we see what, well, especially that, try to get that video of the uh, UFO getting shot down in Russia. Because I feel like there's something more I'll there you that, that you can't re you can't readily see. It's, but you kind of have to go in and do some TikTok. editing in order to bring it out. And no doubt. It's on TikTok, so I can go in and download it and then send it to you. It doesn't take much with TikTok. 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 I've got a, I've got a TikTok page, We Are Light. I got 160, what was it, 4,000 views in one of my videos? The other one got yeah, 20,000 views. I got to admit, that's, that's doing pretty good. <laughs> Once you hit 1,000 yeah. followers, you'll start to be able to do lives on there. I was actually thinking that. I was thinking that I could maybe maybe put it through. I don't know. Can we do it through StreamYard? Nah. All right. Technically, yes. Technically. <laughs> but there's a certain setup you have to do it. And you have to have... TikTok does have that feature where you can link it up to stuff like StreamYard or OBS. But you have to be invited to get that feature. Yeah. Exactly what criteria that you have to follow in order to get that feature, TikTok doesn't exactly tell you. No. Uh, oh well, doesn't it mean I mean it's doing well, okay. I mean eventually it's got about I, like, I, mean, I mean, like like I know our friend uh Tara from Paranormal Brew, she actually uh, sets up you know her phone to physically record. The, her computer screen that has the stream yard going so she can go live on TikTok. Maybe we should start doing that. Could do that. I could give you my details and you could sign on my TikTok and do it that way if you want. Or well, why not? Or... Why would I do that? I have the live feature unlocked on the main Bald and Bonkers TikTok. Do you? Really? Go. I and do. I could, I could, yeah, that's what I'll do. And I put a daily video on my TikTok saying that I'm going live and then we could all come over. Actually, that I could thing. actually go live on there invite you so you can actually come up there you go strange so, we should do that one night you know we should. It's, 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 been, it's been good so what are you up to the rest of the night dakota what exciting thrilling things are you doing on saturday night probably get some dinner work on the new uh 
course that Baldemakers is going to offer up here soon. What was that? What's the course? Uh, How to? So, Chris, yes, do you Dakota. have any? I know this is a horrible sales pitch. <laughs> yes. But, so, Chris, do you know exactly how I managed to get the sh- our show out to so many places at once? Well, Dakota, it's strange you ask that. I don't know, and I was just thinking about it. Could you tell me? Well, if you pay 10 bucks, I'll give you the course. Uh, 10 bucks? So $10 is actually quite good. I, you know, I actually, there's been quite a few people that have messaged me like, Dakota, how the hell do you get all this? You know, it doesn't have that option. How, you know, how do you, you know, is it really expensive to do this type of stuff? If, if you're smart, no. Basically, what this course is going to offer you, and let's be real, with more and more companies going online nowadays, more more stuff popping up on the internet than ever before, everything that's going to be offered in this course can help you basically run your own business, manage social media a lot easier, you know, how to find you know music that doesn't get you flagged on YouTube, you know, make movies, so all that fun stuff. That's really good for a, for a ten dollars. Is it just ten dollars? Well, yeah, that's really good. And I didn't whole... actually know about this, guys. Honestly, I didn't know about this. I'm just playing along because I because I'm still trying to build it. Basically, I... the idea. If I go to try to recommend something, I try to keep something in mind. Is that when I got my own start within the paranormal coming out into public doing shows. I was only 14, 15 years old when I got my start. Now, granted, if you saw me back then, I don't look much different than I do now. Mm. Maybe a little bit more muscle tone, but that's about it. Using that new facial cream. That's it. No, I don't use the facial cream that has human foreskin. Well, you look off young for your age, you know, I turned 27 in like 12 days. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's his birthday. That'll be you, what, 98? You're doing well. You're, you're doing well. Yeah, It's amazing yeah. what that uh, special cream can do, isn't it? Uh, he spends a fortune on it, you know. He was plastered now with his face. I'm only joking. He says the one who openly brags about using moisturizer all the time. I use moisturizer. There's nothing wrong with using moisturizer. I can see my bottle of moisturizer for here. I can see. I oh, use dear God. Oh what? dear God! What? I I use moisture. <laughs> your accent, your accent just made it sound like you could see your butt full of moisturizer from right here. <laughs> Hello, I use. I lose. <laughs> I lose. Oh, lose. Use oh. moisture. Well, look, I live in a harsh climate, in wind and rain and snow. I've got to keep my face moisturized, you know. I've got to keep it supple. Oh, you know, my you never God. know. You never know. They want, want my face one day to like go in the back of a bus or something like that. I don't know. <sighs> what did I actually say? I just says I can see my moisturizer from here. Your bo- a bottle full of moisturizer. I've, I've got a bottle full of moisturizer. I know. I just. What did I go? I've got a bottle down. full of what did I say? I've got a butt full of moisturizer or something. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> oh my god. What? The uh, your head's luminous red, by the way. Oh, Look at that, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Is is gold? I have red? a red cur- I have a Jesus. red curtain, dude. My god, is, is it just me, guys? Is it is his face and his head is getting redder and redder? Oh. You look you look a you look a traffic light. <sighs> <sighs> I wonder what I wonder what that'd be like a butt for. <laughs> that's that's for your OnlyFans. Wait, I, I, honestly, I don't know. I kind of click on the links. How do you click on the OnlyFans? I only click on that because obviously uh, it's, it, like it's not a, it's not a real page. <laughs> for a second there, I thought it'd set one up, you know. Anyway, why don't you share the page in the chat for your uh, birthday? Amazon thing. Maybe there's oh, a millionaire out there wants oh. to buy maybe like a, a gimp suit for you or uh, something like that. You oh, know? Fuck off. No. I put together an Amazon wish list. Uh, a friend of mine recommended that I do it because she, she said that you know people would probably ha- no, just hold on. 
You don't want to hear this. A friend of mine recommended I do it because she said that people would likely want to try to buy and help support the shows. This is what I get for listening to a six foot two blonde. Mm. Is it someone I know? Is it someone in the paranormal field that I know? No, you wouldn't know her. No. So, ladies and gentlemen, post the link for it in the, in the chat. You never All know. Right. I'm telling you, maybe the, the, the Gimp Club's maybe watching and they're wanting to buy you a new suit or oh, something. Oh, like Jesus, it? Christopher. What? Oh, my God. It's just throw a bit of fun into things, you know. It's an 18 rated show, it'll be fine. 18 rated show? Oh, God. No, we would so get shut down if that was the case. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, click on that link in the chat. Buy him something for his birthday, you know? He needs some more moisturizer. He's starting to dry out. I can see him for here. Oh, God. <laughs> Chris. You... Well, you tell me to be funny the night, so I'm letting myself be funny the night. Well, people just people already laugh at you because they can't figure out what the hell you're saying. Hey, I'll tell you this the new lady. Hey, I'm for Scotland, hey, and Dakota wants his what is that? That's Amazon. What is it called again? It's an Amazon, Amazon wish list. It's Amazon wish list. Hey, okay, the new. Hey, what? Oh, and for everybody God. in the, the podcast side, it's a, the link will be below the show if Dakota posts it. Please, if you're a multi-millionaire, please visit it and buy him something special. Yeah. Oh. What? What am I going to do with you? I don't know, really. But you wanted me to be fun tonight. I'm bang- well, The show's okay. called Bald and Bonkers. If we're not acting like a little goofy, you know, people get disappointed. I, would ju- I just said I had a big bottle of moisturizer. Oh, and I know. I, I laughed way too hard at that. When you started laughing, your head went luminous red. I know. I could feel my head turning red. Yeah, so, ladies anyway, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the... Uh, mm, that is... Deeper. S- <laughs> That's God! Your you're talking about the things and then you're mentioning deeper. See, see what runs through his, but his young mind, his young mind, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please don't oh. kick us off of Twitch. <laughs> well, there's yeah. been a hell of a lot worse that got banned, you know. Yeah. We, we, could, we could get Asher's on the show, as you know. Well, she keep first off, tell that woman to s- stop fucking standing people up. My god. Mm. Oh, we love you, Ashers. We're just we joking. Do. We're we just do. joking. You do. He's going to be getting some moisture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris. <clears throat> well, you're just going on it. You were going on about ah, he's moisturizer. I'll admit, every man knew he is his moisturizer. Aye, the day. It's a, I had a shave tonight, and my face is nice and supple. What? That's why I use Doctor Squatch. It does the moisturizing while you're washing. <sighs> No, 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 no. You have to apply the moisturizer after the bath or shower. Gives you that sheen, that texture, and fills the pores, you know. I should do a class in the, what do you call it, beauty products for men. I am horrified. What? What? Uh, Dr. Scorch, if you're watching this show, send me a couple of free bars and I'll give you all the advertisement you want. I actually tried to apply for Dr. Squatch advertising, but they, they said no. I know. Bloody terrible, that. I'm uh, going to oh, soap now. Don't it is, it. It, it's good shit. Also helps. It's actually really good for helping shave. Mm. It is. Mm. So, is as awesome? I was saying before, Chris... You really should. Are you sure you're not on OnlyFans? Um, <laughs> well, you know, I like the t shirt. Yeah, uh, yeah, the G spot. Yeah. Oh, that's a link we should probably put up. Is the store, merch store that's set up? Hey, is that the Ghost Squad Scotland one and the, what do you call it, Bold and Bonkers one? Yep. Yeah. So, 
that's probably another announcement that we should probably ha- pound out right here. We haven't really mm-hmm. got into yet. As some of you may know, there was a store set up through with Bald and Bonkers, but it was through Shopify. And like we said, we did a bit of a restructuring with the company to better handle finances and stuff like that. You know, to try to do more of what we actually want to do. So I made the executive decision to move our merch onto Zazzle, which offers mm-hmm. a lot of the same options we already had for our custom merch. And they handle all the production work on there. And so for those of you who are trying to say, oh, you should invest and have it on standby. You know, I, there's a reason why I have to do things the way I do them. You know, you're not the one that has to deal with the legal paperwork. Assholes. I'm um, just saying. So I'm just grabbing the links right now. That's the one that's on the screen is for Bald and Bonkers. Ghost Squad Scotland also has their own where you can find a t-shirt that says I can t- find your G spot for it. There you go. I was actually thinking, Alan, if you're watching this, you need to buy that t-shirt. I think it would look awesome. On oh, you. You're just picking on poor Alan, aren't you? Wait, he's the heir of my tongue's tea cakes. Bloody terrible he is. Greedy bugger. Yeah, he, uh, Alan, he was no. talking about how much you like to stare at his biscuits. Well, he, was, he, he likes his biscuits. He likes his bourbon biscuits. I'll admit that. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Alan. So it is, it's okay, Alan. We should get Alan on the show one night. We should get him on here. We should do an interview with him. I I don't think he's going to want to. I think he's trying to run and hide now. I know. It's probably murdering me tomorrow. But but mind you, this will no he'll no no see this until next week. So I've got a week left to break it to him that I've actually did. uh, Or you you can just let him be scarred for life. I'll just let him get scarred for life. It'll not affect him at all, you know? Oh, God. (laughs) He's he's my cameraman in Ghost Squad Scotland, you know? Oh, you know? that's why he's he's gonna stay behind the camera at this rate. Yeah. I'll be standing on a cliff and I'll be like, "Look, Alan, look at this beautifulness." <laughs> Fud, and that'll be me. <laughs> oh, uh, you're not too far from the William Wallace Memorial, and you, you can mess somebody up right there and get away with yeah, it. Yeah, you kind of get out now they've put kind of big rails around about it, so you kind of climb on it, because the Scott, some folk had tried to throw themselves off the top of it. Oh, shit. Well, that just took a dark turn. Mm-hmm. Yep. Terrible, you know. So it's been a good night tonight. So it's good to be back in the old bald and bonkers as two idiots, you know. But tomorrow I, night, the I know, bro- creatures will... Brian Laverty, he gets he is so obsessed with the one intro I made. With you know, it runs like a late night talk show and ends with these two idiots can mm. bring you. And I still kind of believe he's a hairdresser. I know he's so obsessed with that intro, like you're obsessed with the fact that he was a hairdresser. Yeah, I know. I mean, I just I it's a strange one. I know. I didn't expect that out of him, but you know, I guess you never really know a person. That's funny how there's so much about a person you don't learn when you actually don't see them in your day to day life. I know. I mentioned what else the secrets he hides. What else? I, I don't think does. we want to know the secrets that some of these people in this I know. community have. Some of, some, of the, some of the secrets in this paranormal community, my good God. Can you imagine what they get up to on a Saturday night? I don't want to. Mm. Mm. I don't want to. We're we doing the stuff right now as we speak. You know? Yeah, no, we're two idiots goofing off online and they're... More. Terrible. I don't know. I probably shouldn't say because people are going to feel like they're going to be singled out. Guilty conscience yeah. and all that. I wouldn't worry about it. You know? Yeah, Some do, gonna... you know? No, nah, I'm just going to say Yes, we did kind of fire off a little bit tonight, but there's two things you got to realize. There's a company we're trying to build. We're trying to make this a platform to where we can help people achieve their dreams. And it's just people dragging us into the drama. We got to make our stand that we do not tolerate this shit. We're not going to anymore. 
if you're known for messing around and trying to purposely stir shit up for no reason, we're not going to deal with you. I will I will say this. It's highly, if, if you want to meet the people that I'm friends with and then you try and friend me, then I find out you're associated with drama, it's not going to happen. Oh, no. We're not going to deal with you. See, I'm just, just going to say this. You have to really be careful because you know, I'm not going to judge someone for wanting to take on, you know, try to get involved with these mm -hmm. like ghost hunting shows and stuff like that. I'd be a judgmental prick. I've been on a ghost hunting show. Yeah, I I was on National Geographic. I didn't get paid for no. it for Loch Ness. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got a ghost hunting movie that's in post production, so you might see something about that from us over here very soon. Yeah, and then you've got the documentary. So, so yeah, I, I'm not going to judge if someone want if someone strives to achieve that stuff. But if you're go going to just completely backstab people around you just because they're not going to be able to come kick your ass the next day, it's one thing yeah. to stand. I'm going to say this. I have no problem with someone defending themselves if they're being attacked. I have no problem yeah. with calling out, obviously, if something is wrong, truly wrong, is going down and something attention needs to be drawn. Mm -hmm. But if you're purposely dragging it out, you're looking for every excuse, going as far as starting to target the people that are trying to keep the peace yep. you're going you're only hurting yourself you're not hurting others despite what your socialite gr little groupies may make you believe don't i mean for god's sakes don't trust people that are so willing and ready to talk shit out of the blue yeah don't trust them because chances are when you're not around they're talking shit about you Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. do you really want to associate yourself with that? If you're truly about putting in the work, truly about going out there, maybe helping people, achieving what it is you want in this life, is that how you want to build yourself up? That's what we're trying to say. It's not just that, and and when I get when I see all that. Chris? Yee-hee! <laughs> Um, Chris? Hello? I don't know what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. Are we, are we, are we still alive? Hello? Huh. That is... Weird. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, like we were trying to say, I don't know how much Chris was able to go into. Sign do a uh, stream yards. I get signed do The hell? Chris is just saying that he got signed out of stream yard. Well, we'll figure out how to fix that here soon. But, ladies and gentlemen, like we were saying. Oh, he's back. Maybe. Hello. What happened? Yeah. Oh. What happened? I, 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 <laughs> I did that happen for you, Tay? 
Well, my signal went out, and I just figured, ah, shit. So I started adjusting my internet to find out what the hell was going on on my end. But I came back. And my, you were talking, something my, hit internet, my internet got turned off with my laptop. That is weird. My internet was turned off with my laptop, and I'm running through my iPad, and I've got my iPad, my phone next to me, and they're full internet. That is weird. That is strange. Okay, I'll I'll say that. okay. That's pro- we should probably take that as a message that we shouldn't fire yeah. off because there is someone we are kind of referencing, and you know what? I guess as some of you know, we did have someone leave Bald and Bonkers. Yeah. I will say this, just to kind of elaborate on how things work and how the whole music and book production is stuff is done. Yeah. Everybody is. Everybody except myself, because I'm the one the company is legally registered under, is legally considered freelancers. Yeah. Okay. Basically, that means is that they can come and go as they please, and I can't say jack shit. It's not my place to make people want to stay if they don't feel that this is working out for them anymore. It's sad. It's it's sad that they left, but hopefully, I wish them the very best. On their on their new shows and stuff like that, and they're always she's always welcome and stuff like that to come on the show, you know, as a guest and stuff like that, you know. I'm, because honestly, I'm quite sad that they left, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say this: they seemed upset that I didn't beg for them to stay. Because again, one, in order to make sure everybody, if something goes wrong with the company, everybody is protected. Everybody's legally considered as freelancers, which means yeah. I'm not their boss. The most yeah. I do, aside from you know planning stuff out for this show with Chris, is uh, let them know if there's some sort of technical issue that's going on. Yeah. Say like the one time we accidentally had overlapping shows, and apparently, if you do that through Twitch, that's that's the only spot that that caused problems. Yeah. So we ended up. Well, that's a learning experience. You know something? I wish. The person that left, I wish you the best of luck in your new adventures, right? And hopefully one day you can come back and come on the show and we can laugh about this, you know? <laughs> you know what I can I say, you know? But yeah. honestly. And I, I'm just going to say this. You're trusting the wrong people to keep your secrets. Yes. I will say this. I am aware of what God it. said about me. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm not firing off at you. I don't necessarily appreciate coming under fire when I was just trying to keep the peace and find out what the hell happened after you already told your piece through a live on Facebook mentioned, you didn't mention the person by name that upset you, but you mentioned just enough to where I knew right away who it was. I was keeping the peace because of what was being said, the claims that were being made. The drama destroys people, and it destroys okay. people. It, there, it, there's a thing called guilt by association, and you seemed upset that I did not say mu- much more. You also hit me with the fact you were leaving when I was at work. That's all. That's it. I was at work. Well, do you know something to quote? Hopefully, everything will work itself out. It's a new year, New Year's resolution. You know, everything will work out, and I hope the very best for the person i hope I'm the very best for them and, and we just stay away from the drama and that'll be it you know i know I'm just so, say, i i do genuinely hope that whatever it is you're looking for you find i'm trying to yes. do my, better myself by not firing off what like the <laughs> first time we had a situation where there was a separation that got pretty ugly i'm not exactly proud of how i handled myself but you know what Shit went down. I admit I was a bit of an asshole in my approach, but all we can do when sh- stuff like that happens is become better, learn from our mistakes. I do truly well, hope that you sense. find whatever it is you're looking for because, quite frankly, there's going to be a hell of a lot more weird shit. And this person did actually mention a certain date, which I'm debating whether or not we should announce. Because if we 
but it's because we don't necessarily want to accidentally prime people into accidentally misinterpreting something that may happen on this specific date. You know, well, they could talk about tricky. it, but no mention the date. They could talk about it, but well, no yeah. mention the date. We'll go into it more tomorrow because but we yeah. do want to kind of dig more into the UFO. Did, did I tell you what happened? Speaking of which, to kind of the, leave off on a, you know, to kind of segue into tomorrow's show. When, did I tell that you was what, when I was what happened with my mother? Yeah. No, what, what it... happened with my mom, and I'm no. not talking about the accident. No, I, which, like I said, okay, okay. First off, New Year's Eve for people wondering, New Year's Eve, my mom got into a car wreck. She, uh, the route she takes home, she has to kind of dip into the canyon and come out. As she was coming out, there was a truck that was trying to deter a cow out of the road. She didn't realize the cow was there until last second. Good deal. Went to miss it and ended up in a borrow pit. She ended up smacking the cow's ass with her mirror. Mm. She's fine. The car, the cow. the cow's fine. Yeah, we they, we managed to track the owner. Apparently, the main thing reason they got in trouble is because the person that was in charge of the cow didn't check to see if my mom was all right. They just up and left her in the ditch. Mm. Now she did have to get a tow truck to help pull her out, but she's fine. We, you know, we joke about the, the accident. Trust me, my sister called me an asshole because she thought I was faking when I said what happened. But she's okay. But this is not what, what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that my mother may have had her very first UFO sighting. There you go. No, oh no, it, it gets better. A lot. A lot of the time when it comes to the UFO phenomenon, they said that telepathy is a big part of it. You can mentally send out mm -hmm. messages. It's the whole mm -hmm. thing behind CE5. So I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. My mother does not know this part. So when this mm. finally comes out fully, I decided to do a little test. I you know, kind of meditated. It was driving home. I say, you know what? Because for those of you who don't know, there's a situation that's continually unfolding as even as we speak, where it looks like not only have I dealt with abductions personally, I may also have hybrid children. Hmm. I use may just because obviously without them physically, say like walking through the door behind me, I don't have much to go on to physically prove they exist. <clears throat> I did a little experiment. Like we mentioned before, the grand reveal is supposed to take place by next year, apparently. Yes. So what I did was like I did this uh, kind of focused. I said, hey, if you guys can hear me, if it's true that you guys are going to be coming very soon, and if it's safe for you to do so, can you say hi to your grandma? All right. Mm -hmm. That was it. Oh. We're doing a UFO live on here. Oh, wait. Did you lose me? I breaking up because you're talking a bit. Time. A few days later, we're doing a live on here. My mom sends me a text saying, <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but I just saw a green light in the sky that after I looked at it it flew off mm -hmm. you don't really see aircraft using green full on green lights yeah maybe yeah. like little blinking lights you see on airplanes mm -hmm. but not entirely engulfed in green so take that as you may mm -hmm. something big's about you know, to happen you know what you might you know what else it might be the aliens are pissed off that your mother hurt the cow that they were about to abduct. <laughs> okay, this this happened like a couple of weeks before her accident. Just to, no, but that's that's, that's what I right then. But but then again, they say time travel is a huge Ooh. part, and you know, like... <gasps> the cow's coming back. Cows cow goes back to the future. Now, apparently, that particular herd was causing a lot of problems. 
that weekend. So, well, you know, it's been a good night tonight, Dakota. I've an yeah. hour nearly a half we've been on for, you know. But tomorrow night's going to be even better with the UFO strange things from beyond, you know. Mm-hmm. So, now, everybody, uh, we're going to even uh, have to talk a little bit about Blue Ridge, Virginia. With the We're latest updates to, that we got, you need to watch. You need to watch. You might get a visitation for, for Mike the Naked Bigfoot. And yes, Mike, I know you're not from that area. Before you come and hunt me down, and be your, but your that's where he lived. I bet he didn't like to see his cell as a, as, as his, it wasn't he from there. Well, I mean, uh, he may have not originally been from there, but he lived there, and we we personally seen enough weird <laughs> shit come through on Mike's end. That mm-hmm. is. So we're gonna have to go more Mike, into this tomorrow, otherwise we're never gonna sign Mike, off. I'm gonna say this to you before I go, Mike. If you can hear me, visit Dakota tonight. Show him you exist. Well, well, I already know because I've already seen his goofy fucking face through my wall, and the weird part is, even my fucking cat is seeing it. Huh? Well. Because she, right. she keeps trying to claw at that particular spot in the wall where I saw Mike's head pop through. I swear I'm telling the truth. Like, she's trying to say, come on, let's go. Let's go out there. Like, what the fuck did my cat just see? Mm. I'm almost wanting to get my thermal that, imager on it. Makes you, it makes you think what's going to happen when you turn your light off. Who is calling me right now? I don't know you. Anyway. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow night and have a fantastic Saturday night. We'll see you next time. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Follow us on Patreon if you want exclusive content. A lot of exciting stuff coming forward. Yep. Catch you later, dudes. See you next time.